Time now to bring in General Manager John Robinson for the Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report. And we know what this is all about, the Houston Texans this weekend. And John, Mike Vrabel's message all week to the team is just win one game. That has been his only key throughout the course of the week. Has been just keeping everything simple been a big part of the preparation? Yeah, like I think, you know, the part of the um, the message this week to win one game, you know, it, it's doing whatever we have to do to win that game, whether that's simplifying things, whether that's adding a wrinkle or two here or there, kind of change things up, whatever we have to do as a football team to prepare to go on the road and win a game in Houston, that's what we'll do. How did the Titans get their passing game back on track against the Houston Texans? Yeah, you know, I think it's about executing the details. So the passing game, it's all about the protection up front. That's where it starts. You got to get on those guys. You got to block them. You got to keep the pocket clean. If it does get a little dirty, Ryan's got to get in a, in a place where he can still deliver the football. If it's man coverage, the receivers got to beat man coverage. They got to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. If it's zone, they got to find the spots in the zone coverage and then create a window for Ryan to deliver an accurate pass and then make the catch. So it's about executing those details, getting back to the fundamentals that we have done in past games and doing that this weekend. Your opponent on Sunday, the Houston Texans, not going to the playoffs. After the Texans game with the Bengals, J.J. Watt, their perennial all-pro, made some comments about professionalism, and this team better pull it together, and we're going to go play hard in Week 17. If you can't come in and put work in in the building, go out to the practice field and work hard, do your lifts, and do what you're supposed to do, you should not be here. This is a job. You actually had an experience with him nearly a decade ago where he showed you the kind of passion that he has exhibited throughout his career and even now. Yeah, he was a pretty big time prospect coming out of Wisconsin and, and he was kind of on my on my trail of, of private workouts and went and spent, you know, half a day with JJ uh, and we did some some film work. Uh, he was he was early. He had everything set up in the film room. We did some on the field work where we worked. I worked him out for about an hour on the field through drills. He had all the bags and everything set up. So, you know, just in getting to know him, certainly what all his coaches had said about him uh, there at Wisconsin and uh, the way he played the game at Wisconsin. And then in that setting, half a day setting, if you will, with me, his approach to the game about being a professional and working hard and showing up and doing your job. You could see that that was going to transcend itself over to the pro game. No matter the situation, no matter the team record, Deshaun Watson just keeps going. Is matching that relentless attitude one of the keys to defending him? Yeah, I certainly think so. Um, it, that and, and discipline. You, you know, you see a lot of these guys, and, and, and we're as guilty as anybody of, you know, if you get through there, whether you blitz him or, or, you, or you beat one of the linemen to get back there, and you really think you're going to nail him. Or, or, you know, you've got a pass rush lane and you get out of it just a little bit because you think you can go over here and get him. He makes you pay. He doesn't, he, he doesn't need a whole lot of room to, to get through there. But you have to stay after him and you have to stay disciplined in your approach when you're trying to get him. Quietly in recent weeks, it feels like running back David Johnson, who now plays for the Texans, has regained his form of 2016 when he starred for the Cardinals. Yeah, I think stylistically, you know, you can see a lot of those things. You know, he's a really smooth, he's a fluid runner. He's got excellent vision. He's got a slashing kind of run style where he'll crease you on a cutback if you're not disciplined on the backside. He's catching the ball out of the backfield well. He's certainly trending in a positive note and had a good year for him. What would it mean to this Titans organization to win the AFC South in Houston this Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think just to win it, no matter where it is, would be, would be huge for us. But that hadn't happened around here in a long time. But it would be a testament to everyone in the organization, you know, especially this year, the players, the staff, the coaches, and certainly our ownership, Miss Amy and, and Kenneth and Barkley, and everybody who's been a part of the Titans organization, whose roots are pretty deep there in the Houston area. Just to come away with a division championship would be pretty special. John, let's go do it this weekend in Houston. That's the plan, Mike. Appreciate you.